Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Hopefully you are a follower. We have over 30, we're getting close to 30,000 now. And I think this is a very special organization. We approach marriage on, it's all wrapped around love and happiness. And this topic is, should I have my husband's passwords? And that's not a deep topic, but it can be, and I'm gonna make it into one. Because I wanna ask you, one, why do you want your husband's passwords? Is it because you don't trust him? So now I'm going to ask you another question. Have you asked your husband for his passwords? And what did he tell you? Why isn't he giving them to you? Is he hiding something? Or is he just taking a stand based on principle that he doesn't have to give you those passwords? Now I'm going to ask you a much more important question. Why are you arguing about passwords instead of putting all of your energy into making your marriage what it is supposed to be? What is your marriage supposed to be? Why did you get married? Do you know the answer? You need to be here because you, if you buy a car, you know you got a car so it's good transportation. When you get married, you get married because you want to be happy. You want to be connected to your soulmate. And do you talk about anything about passwords when you're giving your vows? No. It's about happiness. It's also about love. But you're distracted. And so what's happening, because you're not focusing on happiness and love, your mind is able to drag you into the sewer of passwords. It shouldn't be a big deal. I don't know why he's not giving them to you. I don't know why you're asking. But I do know that if this question is coming up, then you're not operating your marriage how it's meant to be operated. You're not happily married. You're not. You're probably arguing about stuff. Obviously, you're arguing about this. You're bickering. You're probably complaining. He's probably complaining, criticizing. He's probably criticizing. You're not treating each other how you're supposed to treat each other. It's not your fault. No one taught you how to be married. No one even taught you that you're a soul and that you have a body and you have a mind. You don't even know that. You think you have a soul, maybe, but you don't realize until I'm telling you now, it makes perfect sense, right? You are a soul. You have a mind, you have a body, and you married your soulmate. And so what are you doing about that? You need one of my books. You may need the course for women. But you need to get your marriage into a place of progressive enjoyment, happiness and love, happiness and love. You should be a subscriber to this channel so you're learning more and more about marriage. And that should be your mission, to have the most amazing marriage there is, bar none. Can you do it? Yes, you can. And I'm not Bob the Builder. I'm Paul, the founder of the Marriage Foundation. So like this video, leave a comment if you want. Definitely subscribe. Thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again. God bless you and take care.